everyone this is Linda and I'm in my garden it is a beautiful uh, Thursday morning I guess it's about 10 30 a.m. and it is absolutely beautiful um, yesterday I had to go out to the stores and purchase some perlite uh, and some uh, compost uh, for my garden and and of course you know you cannot pass up the seeds so I uh, began to look at some seeds and I found some seeds that I want to uh, have them a part of my garden that I've never had before so this one here I this is a white radish I've never had this before so I'm gonna plant this one today and I had been looking for some uh, some sweet banana peppers, and so I had those. I'm going to plant these. Here is a black radish. I've never, a Spanish black radish. Never had that before, so we're going to plant that today. I have some uh, ruby queen beets. Um, yeah, uh, my grandson says he wanted that, so we're going to plant that. I have been looking for some crimson sweet uh, watermelon. So I'm going to plant about five plants and uh, see if we can get a couple of watermelons. And this beauty, a violet giant Xena, a purple violet Xena. How beautiful is that? And guys, you know, I couldn't leave it in the store. And this. I've never grown before. It is a giant Jubilee tomato. When it is matured, it is orange. So what I did was I went on uh, YouTube just to kind of see what, you know, how to take care of it. I need to know more about it. And ironically, there were only two uh, videos on uh, Jubilee tomatoes. And uh, what I understand is that they like, um, they, they grow very big. Uh, it's like a beefsteak tomato. Uh, it's not as acidy, I guess, acidity as um, a red uh, beef tomato, uh, but it is uh, meaty. So I definitely want to grow this. So I'm going to grow five plants of this uh, uh, Jubilee orange tomato. Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. So guys, that's what I did on yesterday. So um, I had my grandson with me, the oldest one, and uh, it was great. So I had him to do all the lifting for me. <laughs> and of course he was just willing to do it. Yeah. But um, I had a great, great day with him. And, um, but anyway, I hope you all have a, a great day. I'm going to keep you all um, updated on day four of the Super Juice and my squash that are just doing very well. And, uh, and I will definitely tell you guys what I have learned throughout this process. Okay, you all have a great day. Later, y'all.